Hello and welcome to this Pharos Cloud tutorial. Today we'll be covering how to set up and use the control panel. The control panel allows Pharos Cloud customers to create a simple to use interface where they or their end users can interact with the site without any prior knowledge of Pharos controllers or Pharos Cloud. Start in the control panel tab of your site. This site already has a control panel page. To add another, click add page at the bottom. Each page needs a name which will be used as a title for the page. Each page consists of eight buttons, each of which can fire a task. A new page starts with placeholders for all buttons. To configure a button, click on the placeholder for the button and choose to enable it. Set the button text to tell users what the button does. Button and text colour can be adjusted. Any colour combinations are possible, but it's a good idea to use colour to indicate what the button will do whilst keeping the text legible. Hex codes and RGB or HSL values can be provided when a specific colour is required. You can also adjust the opacity of the button. Select the task which is to be run when the button is pressed. Submit to confirm changes. The button will now provide a visual preview and give the associated task name as a subtitle. Click the button again to edit its settings. Disabling a button will hide the button from the control panel, but keep the settings associated until edited or the page is deleted. Background images can be uploaded for each page. Click to upload a background image for the current page. Drag and drop an image into the box or click to open a file browser to select an image. Images are not compressed during this process, so please be sure to use an appropriately sized image. Images are stretched to fit any screen size. Aspect ratio is maintained, so the image is stretched to fit the longest side. Click the delete icon to remove a background image. Edit the colour of your page title if the default colour clashes with the background image by clicking under the page name and selecting a new colour. Page names can be changed with inline editing. Delete a page by selecting the delete button at the bottom right. Once the control panel is ready for use, visit the control panel by using the button at the top right. This button is accessible from any tab in a site. Once loaded, any button presses will run their associated task. Each control panel is hosted at a unique URL, which means users can visit this URL to directly visit the control panel after they sign up for Pharos Cloud. If the user needs to sign in first, they will be automatically redirected to the control panel after doing so. The control panel will adjust its layout to suit whatever device is used to view it. Control panel can be saved to iOS and Android home screens and will be correctly formatted with a suitable icon and splash screen. This is the process for saving the control panel to the iOS home screen from Safari. And this is the process for saving to an Android home screen using Chrome. If a user is only going to be accessing the control panel in a site, the permissions they need are Control Panel, View, Site, View All, and Task, Execute. That's how to configure the control panel. Please see other videos in this series for more information about the features of Pharos Cloud. Or if you have any other questions, then please feel free to contact cloud at pharoscontrols.com.